Curiosity is a rover that operates mostly autonomously on the surface of the planet Mars. Studying its atmosphere for past as well as current suitability as a biosphere. It was built by Boeing, JPL, and Lockheed Martin, and its weight is about 1,980 pounds. Curiosity began its journey to Mars on November 26, 2011, when it was launched into space from Cape Canaveral. Before reaching its landing site, it had to travel 348 million miles. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and get ready for many more fascinating videos in the future. Curiosity's Landing on Mars In August 2012, the Curiosity rover reached the Red Planet after a flight time of about eight months. For NASA, the stakes were high during the landing, as the rover was slowed from 13,000 miles per hour to zero by a previously untested procedure. The success of the mission was therefore not certain, and NASA had to endure several anxious minutes as Curiosity had no radio contact with the ground station when it landed on Mars. All mission personnel held their breaths, fearing that the $2.5 billion mission had crashed on the Martian soil. There were seven minutes to get through. This was the time it took for the rover's radio signals to travel the 155 million miles back to the Earth. The period has since been known as the seven minutes of terror. The new and untested procedure for landing a probe on alien planets involved several stages. First, a huge parachute deployed at an altitude of about seven miles slowed the probe from its top speed of 13,000 miles to about 186 miles per hour. Then the sky crane, to which Curiosity was attached to by a cable, detached from the back of the rover. The speed was further reduced via the brake nozzles on the crane in order to set the rover down as gently as possible on the surface of Mars. It successfully landed in the Gale Crater, specifically Quad 51, called Yellowknife, of the Aeolus Palace Plain, which lies between the northern slope of the Gale Crater and the northern footholds of Aeolus Muns. The impact crater Gale has an estimated age of 3.5 to 3.8 billion years. Scientists suspect the crater holds many sedimentary layers that were cast off by wind erosion, creating over time the 3.4 mile high Aeolus Muns mountain at the center of the 196 mile wide crater. The landing site was chosen because Curiosity has the opportunity to explore nearly 2 billion years of the history of the planet Mars there. It waits in the sedimentary layers of the mountain to provide clues for research on Mars's past. Another reason for landing at Quad 51 was the presence of an alluvial debris carrier which one theory suggests was formed by groundwater in Mars's recent geologic past. This landing site was named Bradbury to honor science fiction author Ray Bradbury. Glen Elg The Glen Elg soil formation was among the first sites that the Mars robot Curiosity was to move towards and investigate. It is located about 1,312 feet southeast of the rover's landing site so it is still in the Gale Crater. Glen Elg was chosen as a research site because three different geological formations with superimposed rock layers occur at the site. Glen Elg owes its name to a local geologic feature called Glen Elg and to the naming of the landscape features associated with Yellowknife in Northern Canada. In addition, the name Glen Elg is a palindrome. It makes no difference whether the name is read forwards or backwards. The result is the same. The twin town in the village of Glen Elg, located in Scotland, which celebrated its election as a twin town on October 20th, 2012, with a live broadcast to NASA, among other events. Curiosity is collecting soil and rock samples on its way to Glen Elg, which took up to six weeks to complete. Upon arrival, Curiosity's drill was used for the first time before heading to Aeolus Muns. Aeolus Muns 
Aeolus Muns, with its two-mile-high summit in Gale Crater, is the central point and primary target of the scientific studies to be conducted by Curiosity. Before these studies could begin, the rover first had to cover a five-mile distance from the Glen Elg soil formation to Aeolus Muns. A period of one year was planned for the route, with calculated stops to explore the terrain. NASA announced on November 13, 2013, that Curiosity would make the access route called Murray Buttes, so named to honor planetary scientist Bruce C. Murray, on its journey to Aeolus Muns. On September 11, 2014, the rover reached its destination and began its investigations. The dimensions of Aeolus Muns are clearly visible in the panoramic images taken by the Mars rover. Its summit towers over the southern rim of the Gale Crater, and at its top are huge mounds of debris. Researchers suspect countless layers of rock underneath, all of which hold a piece of the history of the planet Mars. According to studies, the current mound was eroded by sedimentary deposits and is believed to have filled the entire Wright Crater in the past. Not everything is known about the nature and origin of the rock layers. They could be stone fragments, brought by winds or volcanic ash that fell from the sky. It is also conceivable that the Gale Crater had a layer of ice and the rock layers were deposited in the water beneath the ice. Researchers see an alluvial fan that formed in the area as further evidence of water on Mars. The sediment deposits could have been washed up by water, as happens on Earth when a moving body of water flows into a standing one. Sediment deposits occur there as well. Most scientists see water as the key factor in forming Gale Crater. With Aeolus Muns at its center, it is the ideal place to detect life on Mars. Rock Nest Rock Nest is a sandy patch on Mars that Curiosity discovered on its way from the Bradbury landing zone to Aeolus Muns. Located on a sloping hillside behind a formation of dark rocks, the site was selected by NASA for the first deployment of Curiosity's gripper arm. The arm has three joints, weighs 66 pounds, is 6.9 feet long, and can be angled during the journey. If you include the five instruments mounted on the arm, its diameter is about 24 inches. Among the apparatus, in addition to an X-ray spectrometer, are several tools for collecting and preparing samples. While working at the rock nest site, scientists noticed a strangely bright object in the sand. Several close-up images were taken, proving it to be debris from Curiosity's sky crane, according to the researchers. Additional images of the sandy soil show other bright particles that are currently believed to have originated on Mars. According to a first X-ray diffraction analysis, the Martian soil contains olivine, pyrazine, and feldspar, and thus resembles the composition of the basalt rock in the volcanoes of Hawaii. As the mission progressed, NASA scientists were able to announce that Curiosity found easily accessible water in abundance in the soil samples. Additionally, NASA reported finding two different soil samples, one mafic and the other felsic. In the area around Rock Nest, the stone Jake M was also discovered. It's a mugurite that Curiosity found and examined on its way to Glen Elg. Its striking pyramidal shape was probably formed by the wind. Images clearly show the red and purple dots caused by the ChemCam's lasers and X-ray diffraction analysis, respectively. Curiosity's analysis detected feldspar, sodium, aluminum, potassium, and small amounts of iron, magnesium, and nickel. The rock was named Jake M by NASA to honor mathematician and later rover engineer Jacob Matijevich, who died shortly after Curiosity landed on Mars and played a critical role in the rover's development. Glen Torridon. Another of Curiosity's stops on its Mars mission is Glen Torridon. The imagery shows the area with light-colored bedrock in the foreground transitioning to sandy soil. Bedrock is also visible in the background, flanked by the Vera Rubin Ridge. 
The soil in the Glen Torridon region is more clay-like and less sandy, which facilitates Curiosity's progress. During the Glen Torridon exploration, the bedrock was examined in several locations. In addition to taking photos with Curiosity's cameras, investigations were also carried out using ChemCam. In this way, researchers hope to gain new insights into the hydrogen content beneath the surface. The data collected will then be compared with those from other regions of Mars. In addition, the rover's camera was used to create a panoramic image of Glen Torridon, which includes cliffs of the Vera Ruby Ridge and shows the different rock types. Fractured rock, sand, and bedrock are all visible in the image. Currently, Curiosity has traveled more than 15 miles and has now been performing its service on the Red Planet for more than 3,000 days, with no end to the mission in sight. Currently, its successor Perseverance is already approaching Mars and is set to land in the Yezero Crater. What do you think of Curiosity, and what's your opinion on the subject? Please use the comments to let us know what you think. As always, we look forward to hearing from you.